What is going on, viewers? <laughs> is TVB and that's one squeaky chair. That's one squeaky chair, and um, I, I saw your list for a brief second. So, um, what we're doing right now is we're gonna give our worst and best film of each genre. I'm his sister, in case you didn't know. Hi. Yeah, she's home from college, so we're gonna <laughs> make videos together. You usually introduce me, and this time you didn't. Yeah. So are you gonna give your best? Uh, I'm gonna give my best and your oh, worst. Because ladies first. Yeah, because I mean, when Aww. we did our top five favorite movies of all time, I went first with everything. Okay, well that's fair. All right, so first category is action movies. Now, let me just say that um, we're excluding sci-fi, fantasy, and animated action films because those are going to be later on in this list. And you see, action is a pretty broad genre in case you haven't realized. So we're including superhero films, we're including thrillers, we're including war films, we're including um, disaster films. With all that said, what's your favorite action movie? Uh, there's a lot of good action movies. I love action movies. Probably half of the movies I see are action movies. Obviously, superhero films alone, like Avengers is one of my favorite movies. Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises... Um, uh, shout out to those two movies, because I almost went with The Dark Knight, but then I decided... Oh, um, also, Insomnia, one of Christopher Nolan's other movies. Um, Memento, another one of Christopher Nolan's movies. I ultimately went with Inception, though. What? That's a sci-fi! No, it's not. It isn't? I think it's an action movie. Uh, dream. It's an action movie! Okay, okay, fine, fine, <laughs> fine. It's an action movie. It's a good, it's a really good movie. I love that movie so much. I, I watched it's my, my favorite movie. Like, yeah. when I was, um, like, I, over spring break, I was in San Diego for a few days, which is where I got this shirt at the San Diego Zoo, and I went to, um, okay, I'm not looking at your list. I went, I, I was watching it on the airplane, and I, I, I watched it when I was, like, 11 in the theaters. I had no he idea what hated was going it. on. He was like, ah, oh, he left the theater, and he was like, I don't understand. Well, I didn't watch <laughs> it again, I understand it. So, my favorite action movie, like you said about superhero films, my favorite action movie is The Avengers. Ah, yeah. I love this film. Like, everyone in the movie was great, from Samuel Jackson, Robert Downey Jr., Tom Hiddleston, Chris Hemsworth, Scarlett Johansson, everyone in the film was amazing, and just, like, the action scenes and the superhero and the superheroes, it's like, I, I just remember watching the trailer, and Seth Green just being so excited, and then, like, I Aww. left the theater with, like, this big sense of satisfaction. Mm-hmm. And it's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's a great movie. What's your least favorite action movie? Oh, this is a no-brainer. The Last Airbender. <laughs> That's that a fantasy, though. Oh, it's... Do I have a least favorite for my fantasy? It, it, it's fine. Just... Oh, no. Fine, that would be my least favorite. Fantasy, action movie, whatever We're I big, call. like, Airbender fans of the TV the show. The TV show is great. The movie is horrible. The guy who... Oh. And Mike Shyamalan. The guy who... Oh, horrible bought, movie! And Mike Shyamalan. The guy who brought the sixth sense. What is this? Have you even seen The Sixth Sense? No, but I heard it's amazing. <laughs> I was going to say. I don't know how qualified okay. you are to make Can that judgment. Can I give my least favorite action yes. movie? 2012. Really? It's a disaster movie. This movie is pretty much the reason why I don't watch disaster movies anymore. It's just like, it, it's, I mean, that's what it is. Once you've seen them all, you've seen them all. It's just like one, once you've seen one, uh, excuse me, once you've seen one, you've seen them all. It's just like Los Angeles gets earthquake, then every, the whole world gets earthquake, and it's just like, a whole, everyone in the movie is a complete nincompoop, and there's just... And it's just so cliched filled and it's poorly written and it's two and a half hours long. It's just, it's ridiculous. Not even the fun kind of ridiculous. I, I just didn't like the film. Yeah, I feel you. I feel your pain even though I didn't see that movie. It looks like it's Good. a shitty movie. I think I watched part of it actually. All right, animated is the next category. This wasn't hard at all for me. There are a lot of really good animated movies out there. How to Train Your Dragon. Um, the Disney films. Toy Story, yeah. All the Frozen in recent memory. Um, all, yeah, all the Toy Story films. Bugs Life. Pixar. There's just a lot of really good animated movies, but... And, as I forget anime, like Hayao Miyazaki. Yes! Spirited Away is one of my favorite movies. My favorite has to go to Mulan. Let's get down to business. Oh, that, that was a good one. I love that movie so much. It's like, whatever. I used to race track and cross country in high school, and before my races, if I was really nervous, like the night before, I like pop in Mulan. I'd be like, you know what? If Mulan can betray her family and join the army, I think I can run a PR this race. Like, it's I a, think I can do it. It's a great girl power film. Even if you're yes. a guy, you'll still love it. The animation spot on Mushu as, like, Eddie Murphy Most as a Most quotable dragon. cartoon character, I think, in the history of time. Really? Oh, well, I can't believe I forgot to mention The Lion King. The Lion King is a classic. Um, oh, can I get my favorite? Sorry. Yes. Sorry, your turn. Speaking of which, The Lion King is my favorite anime movie of all time. Ah! I'm pretty sure for those of you who've seen my top ten favorite anime movies of all time video, you didn't, you didn't, you weren't surprised by this one bit. Mm -hmm. It's just The Lion King in the animation. I can't, I just can't stop feasting my eyes on it. And I love animals. There wasn't a single human character in the movie. This is all talking animals. And it's like the the emotion, the comedy, the characters. Oh, I could watch the film over and over again and not get bored. 
It's an amazing movie. It's probably like my second favorite anime. Now, what's movie. your least favorite anime movie? G Force. It was a movie with guinea pigs that came out a few uh, years ago. Oh, that was live action animation. Was it really? Movie. Yeah. Okay, then I got nothing. That was the only thing. That I was of. that was a bad movie. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That was a whole. My <laughs> least favorite anime movie of all time. Speaking of talking animals, The Wild. This was just a What's bad. That? It came out in 2006. Good. I'm happy you don't remember. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do. It, Did I see it with you? No, like you saw it with Granddad or something. Oh, oh. And it was. It's it just a Madagascar ripoff. The animation is ugly. It, the, the plot is ridiculous. There's it, the villains are meeting wildebeest for Christ's sake. Comedy. Hey. All right. Um. There's, Long coms are excluded. By there's. The way. You mean excluded? Excluded. Okay. There's a lot of really good comedies out there. I, for one, am not the. I have a very specific sense of humor. So a lot of comedies that are. Like, for instance, a lot of people love Bridesmaids. I don't love that movie so much. A lot of people really love Ted. Ted is okay. I think it's guy good. Movie. Yeah, it's more of a guy movie, I think. So, um, I don't watch a whole lot of comedies, but uh, there's a bunch I've seen that are really good. So, like, um, shout out to 40-Year-Old Virgin and 22 Jump Street. 22 Jump Street has a special place in my heart because it's filmed on Tulane's campus. And I'm a student there, so, yeah. Okay. And um, 21 Jump Street, Neighbors, also really good honorable mention. But this is the end? Yes, I love this. Wolf of Wall Street. Yes, Wolf of Wall, Wolf of Wall Street was almost what I went with, but how could I go with anything other than Legally Blonde? I saw that coming. I had to. I couldn't not do it. I've watched Legally Blonde. It's probably my most watched movie of all time. It's just had such an influence on my life as a blonde. This is. I'm gonna just chick if, flick, but even then, like yeah. I still laugh while I'm watching it. Oh. My favorite comedy. Like I've seen a lot of good comedies. But my favorite comedy has to be Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I haven't seen that yet. It's so funny. I like my friend shows me. Joe, thank you so much for for making me, for having me see this film. It's like it's like in the seventies back when like the when special effects became a thing, and it's like so cheap. And like, I just could not stop laughing at this film. Like no film has made me laugh harder than Monty Python and the Holy Grail. A movie like that definitely deserves my recognition as my favorite comedy. Oh, wonderful! All right, and our worst. Oh, this was a no-brainer. Disaster movie. Oh, that like the parody movies? Forget it. It was a disaster! Shout out to the Starving Games because it was made by the same people and that was... Disaster awesome. movie is your least favorite. Disaster movie was even worse because at least during the Starving Games there were some Hunger Games jokes thrown in there. So, and I'm a big Hunger Games fan. I wrote a fan. Hunger Games parody once. I put on fanfiction. I'll leave it in the description for you guys so yeah. you can read it. Yeah, it's, it's My bad. worst comedy? Oh, it's movie 43. I could not stand I'm this so movie. I'm so sorry for you. Like, I know a lot of you guys laughed at the whole scene where Hugh Jackman had, like, balls hanging off his neck. I just found it disgusting and just <laughs> stupid. And it's just like a whole movie. You're too evolved it's for that. It's disgusting. It's stupid. It's racist. I mean, I just, I hated this film. Want every last bit. It definitely deserves a Razzie Award for Worst Picture of the Year. I, I couldn't stand it. It's pretty, pretty darn bad. All right, dramas are next, right? Okay, dramas. Oh, I have seen a lot of good dramas in my day. Les Miserables. The new one, that's really good. Um, pretty much every David O. Russell movie ever made, but he does. You would categorize him more as comedy. Yeah, like *The Lions Playbook*. He's American Muscle. That's I'd say that's like dramedy more than anything else. Yeah. Um, but I mean, uh, Catherine Bigelow's *Hurt Locker*. That's I really, a favorite drama. No, I really like that one, but that's it has awesome. does not hold a candle to *Zero Dark 30. That's your favorite drama. Yep. I favorite. have to see it. I heard it's like um, I heard it's a, a phenomenal film. I saw this in the theater with Andrew because that was the year. That's we, our friend. You, that yeah, the Andrew's my best friend. That was when we were in the theater, like watching that movie. The last half hour, nobody moved, nobody said a word. The, the theater was dead. You could hear a pin drop. The theater was dead silent. And, like, normally people are quiet in movie theaters, but this was, like, an eerie silence. And when the movie ended, nobody moved for a solid minute, and all of us were just, like, so quiet, like, soaking it in. It was a theater full of people. Like, there were... Every seat was taken, and we were all just silent, just staring at the screen, like, taking it in. It was so... So moving. And so, it was, like, a really emotionally gripping movie. Catherine really Bigelow, dramatic. you were the first woman to win the Best Picture... Well, the, the Best Director Oscar, so shout out to you. We're really behind with women in this country. We don't, haven't had a female president yet. Come on, Lithuania is ahead of us with women. That's our we're fifty percent Lithuanian. Yeah, they have a Lithuanian president. Okay. What's up with that? So why my, don't we have one? My favorite drama. I'll be honest. Only time I really watch dramas is around award season, so we know who's not ready for what. But my favorite drama has to be Life of Pi. That's a good one. It's like nobody yeah. thought that you could adapt Jan Martel's novel into a, a movie. I haven't read the book. I really should because this movie just took me in. By, like, I just loved it. Like, you see the guy's telling his relationship with a tiger on a lifeboat, and just the visuals, the visuals, viewers, I, I could not, I couldn't, I couldn't, like, get enough of it. It was just breathtaking. A, mm -hmm. a really good experience. 
Yeah, it's a re it's a good book. You should read the book when you get a chance. All right. Our worst dramas. I actually think about this one for a while because I don't see a lot of bad dramas. This is the only one I could come up with, but once I thought of it, I was like, yep, that was pretty bad. Raise Your Voice. It's a Hilary Duff movie that came out in, like, 2007. It's not even castle drama. Yeah, it's because her, her brother gets killed in a car accident, and then she's trying to figure out how to sing, and it's just, like, it's, uh, it's a Hilary Duff movie. I love... Hilary Duff as a human being. She's a bad actress, though. Let's, like, not beat her on the bush here. She's a really bad... I'm watching Gossip Girl right now. She's a really bad actress. And the movie is pretty... Now that I think about it, it's a pretty stupid premise. But, um... But, yeah. I liked it when I was, like, 12. But not... I'm not 12 anymore. So I don't like it anymore. Well, I mean, drama... Like I said, only time I watch drama is at awards season. Mm -hmm. And it's, so if I'm going to watch a drama, see, dramas lack the two things I like the most movie. Entertainment and comedy. And if a movie has needed that, like, have good acting, have good script, have, like, good message, and, like, have it, make it meaningful. So, with all that said, my least favorite drama is probably just any drama that has no meaning to it. That's a cop-out. That is a cop-out. I don't like, like I said, I don't watch that many dramas. Neither, like, neither, neither, I mean, honestly, a lot of the movies that I thought of that as bad dramas would have been better suited for other categories, like, a romantic drama. Like, if I had seen Fifty Shades of Grey, which I haven't, I would probably put that I as my... Poop. Yeah, I would probably put that as my worst drama, but then you would have been all like, no, it's a romance. And I would have been like, all right, fine, sorry. So, yeah, a lot of dramas, it's very hard to find a purely, like, a pure drama that's really bad. Next category, fantasy. Yeah. I don't have a least favorite for fantasy. Oh, we're excluding sci-fi crossovers. We're excluding animated films. Yes. I love all the Harry Potter movies. I also like the Lord of the Rings movies. I'm not the gi most gigantic fan of them, to be perfectly honest, but I really like them. Um, I'm trying to think of other fan. Oh, I actually do have a least favorite fantasy now that I think about it. Well, don't, don't give us that yet. Let's I know, your... but my favorite fantasy movie of all time is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because I was a really big, I was really big into Harry Potter when I was younger, and that was the movie that started it all. I saw it in the theater when I was like four or five years old, maybe. I really love that movie. Um, it opened the Harry Potter door for me. I finally got around to reading all the books when I was like ten. I want to say I finally read, start read all the books. Loved them. It became a big part of my teenagehood, I guess you could say. And it, it introduced me to a lot of other really good books. Okay, my favorite fantasy? Yes. Now, you say you really like The Lord of the Rings. I didn't just love it. It's my favorite movie of all time. It is my favorite fantasy. Which Lord of the Rings movie? The trilogy is all the same movie. Come on. <laughs> no, I definitely have to give props to the Harry Potter films and the Hobbit films. And also some other like things that you could consider fantasy. Because fantasy is actually... They don't, they don't make that many fantasy films anymore when you think about it. Yeah, fantasy is kind of a dying genre. I mean, but I love the Lord of the Rings. Like, I could just... I mean, they're all three hours long. But I could just like watch them over and over again. I love it so much. Like, from the characters, Frodo, Sam, Gandalf, Gimli, Aragorn, Legolas, Gollum, the Hobbits. Ev everything about the movie. I just love it. Oh. I mean, it, I know, it's such a guy thing This put as my favorite movie of all time. But. It's okay, you're allowed. I put Harry Potter in this first room. Next, worst fantasy movie, Aragon. Oh, Not wow. gonna waste my, <laughs> my time talking about it. I love, that was my favorite, my fifth the grade book, yearbook. I phrases for the My book. fifth grade yearbook, I put Aragon as my favorite book. They ask you what you want to be when you grow up. What's your favorite movie at the time it was not at the museum? At the time I wanted to be an astronaut. Definitely not going to be an astronaut now. Um, who your favorite, like, teacher was, and then they ask you what your favorite book was, and it was Aragon. Of all the books I'd read, I picked Aragon, and you know what? The movie adaptation was so bad. I was 12 when I saw it, and I was a huge Aragon fan. When you're at that age, or when you're that big a fan of the book, usually you like it no matter what. It's only when you rewatch it a few years later that you're like, wow, that was actually horrible. Well, movies based off books that are, like, that don't follow a book, they're, when they're bad, they're bad. I hated it when I was 12! I came out of the movie theater, and I was like, you know what? I'm 12 years old, so I probably shouldn't have enough judgment to know that this is a bad movie. And I knew it was a bad movie. I, I, I was, was six at the time. I hated it. Yeah, you were not six. You were like nine. Some, oh, somewhere in that area. You were like Now, nine. my least favorite fantasy, I do have to give some dishonorable mentions. The Last Airbender, like, I mean, it was their least favorite comedy. <sighs> oh, yeah, action. Bombing rising out of my throat. And um, my least, I, I also got to give a dishonorable mention to, um, yeah, Aragon and Percy Jackson Olympians. I, I hate that movie. I love the books, but I Wait, hate Wait, you're not movie. counting that as a sci-fi? No, that's a fantasy. It's Greek mythology. Where do I have that written down? Oh, crap, I actually did have that written down as my least favorite fantasy. Whoopsies. Oh, whatever. Percy Jackson's mine. My least mine. favorite fantasy is The Legend of Hercules. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my god, this film! My rant says it all. Like, this film, the green screen is horrible, the acting was horrible, the costumes were horrible. What even movie has this, uh, a budget of $70 million? You expect it to have good visuals at least, but no, it does! Not even the costume. Like, there's a one scene where he doesn't tuck the spear under the arm chick, and the camera was on the side where he's tucking the spear under the arm! You got that from the Jeremy Johns review. Oh, I, no, I, 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 I was curious to see how bad it was after um, I watched his review, and I totally regret seeing it. It's a really bad movie. It's well, Percy really Jackson and the Olympians and Aragon, I say, are probably tied. Horror, which I will be the first to admit, I'm not very well versed in horror movies. Me I've neither, seen, actually. I've actually seen, like, maybe two or three horror movies in my entire life, although I did see a very good one, so I feel confident saying that Silence of the Lambs is my favorite horror you movie. You saw it? Yep. Why didn't you tell me? Watch it on Netflix. Why? I, I heard it's, like, the first horror movie to win the Oscar for Best Picture. I, like, I've been watching, I, like, my, I only watch horror movies, like, in October, because my friends and I, we pick a movie to watch for Halloween. And, yeah, I've heard amazing things about Silence of the Lambs. Tell me about it. It's very good. It's not what you expect it to be, though. Like, you expect Hannibal Lecter to be the big villain because you know the name. The name's so famous. He is a villain, but he's not really at the forefront. He's he's an underlying, very important presence throughout the movie, but the cast of characters it involves is Jodie Foster's character and this other villain who is not... He's much more dangerous in this film, but you really get the sense that Hannibal Lecter is much more sinister as a person. He's much more... He's very... Like, they really... The character development was fascinating, and I'm a writer, so for me, watching that was like, wow. Like, the, this is a great way to study people and how humans interact. Like, you will be... Like... Yeah, I loved it. It's a great movie. Okay, It's well, really creepy, though. Well, I mean... Like I said, I don't watch that many horror movies, but I've seen nothing on my favorites. My favorite horror movie is King Kong. King Kong is not horrible. Oh, no, 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 no. I was on Wikipedia's list of films considered the best. I went to horror movies. 1933 King Kong was on that list. 1933? Yeah. Oh, okay. And monster movies technically count as horror movies. <laughs> and you're not... I don't deny it. There were some pretty freaky moments. All right. 1933 original, 2005 remake. You can't go wrong with either, okay. honestly. All right. I, I mean, the visuals are great. The acting is pretty solid. The natives are terrifying. I mean, I, I, I really like the film. Okay, cool, cool. That's right. your least favorite horror film. Um, the only ever horror film I've ever seen. I honestly don't hate this movie that much. I actually kind of enjoyed watching it, but it's just not a good movie. Jennifer's Body. I mean, it's not that one we were Megan Fox is naked or something. No, naked. She's not naked. That's <laughs> she just makes that with a side for you. That's besides the point. It's just a bad movie. And, but the thing is, they, it knows it's a bad movie. Like, Amanda Seyfried and Megan Fox took on a horror. They, like, the director was literally like, hey, this is supposed to be a campy horror movie. Like, that's what we're trying to make. It wasn't taking itself seriously. No, it, it didn't take itself seriously at all, which is why it was fun to watch, because you could watch it. And, like, if you want to mind numbing two and a half hours where you're entertained and where it's, like, comedy meets, like, horror, then it's a great dramedy. Not dramedy, what am I saying? Um, horror of a D. <laughs> Not a word. Right. Is it Moving time, on. Is it time for my least favorite horror movie? Yes. Oh my god! It's my least favorite horror movie of all time. Troll 2! <laughs> uh, this isn't just the worst horror movie I've ever seen. It's the worst movie I've ever seen! Oh, this movie was so bad. Oh my goodness. Like, it's laughably terrible in some parts. It's there, painfully terrible. There, 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 there. there, there. <laughs> this is painfully okay. talking about this movie. My face is turning red. Oh. Your face was red to begin with. I don't even want to talk about this movie. Your okay, what, what's the next category? Your face is red to begin with. Okay, romance. I love romantic movies if they're done well, which most of the time yes. they really aren't. Major shout out to The Spectacular Now. I'm so sad I couldn't pick two. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm in love with it. It's beautiful. I never sense the word. I also love Silver Linings Playbook, which is a rom-com. But alas, Titanic must be my favorite. I, I saw that coming. I know. I was this close to going with Spectacular I mean, Now. Titanic, um, just the acting, the chemistry between Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet is, like, unmistakable. Like, it is gorgeous. And it, he, the one thing that kind of bugs me in that movie is that the lines at some points are kind of cheesy, but it's just such an epic love story, and it set me up for such unrealistic expe expectations about men. Uh -huh. Like, how can I not give it to that movie? It was great. Right, well, I mean... I seem to hate a lot of romance films, and I got nothing against romance films. I mean, I love romantic comedies, and I feel like if done right, romantic dramas could be very good. It's just the the way ro romance films have like, gone down lately has been bothering me a lot. But my favorite romance movie is also Titanic. Really? Okay, so you pick the same one? Yeah, because I mean, you, you may watch it like a few years ago. I actually, I even though, like, yes, it's a girl movie, but I still really liked it. I mean, 
It's hey, Mar- Mark Ellis likes Titanic. It's not that much of a girl oh, okay, movie. Okay. Although we both know how easy Mark Ellis <laughs> Okay, okay, let's not talk about a YouTuber here. But no, Titanic, like you said, the chemistry between them. It was also, it's something that James Cameron's very good because we saw this with Avatar also. Like, the first half or two-thirds or three-quarters of the film is a love story. Then next thing you know, bam, it becomes like a thriller. Like, you know, the ship sinking, the iceberg, blah, 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 blah. And it's also the first film to gross over a billion dollars at box office. You gotta give props to that also. Yeah. No, it's your least favorite heart. Um, fan, uh, romance. Remember how I was saying earlier how when you're like 12 years old and you're a really big fan of the book, when yeah. you see the movie, you love it? This was a movie that I loved when I was younger. I loved it. I thought it was amazing. I was like, this is what I want my love life to be like when I'm over the entire Twilight Saga. Oh, I, I saw that it's, coming, actually, after everything you said. Boo! It's so bad. I was a huge twi- I was Team Jacob all the way. Shout out to my Team Jacob homies. I'm Team Frodo Baggins now. How do you like that? <laughs> for that one. Um, no, I mean, I love those movies when they came out, now that I'm watching it back. There's just, it's just bad romance. Like, it's also sets up such unrealistic expectation for girls, where it's like, okay, here's the thing. If you are a really shy, really reclusive, like, not friendly, not talkative person, some super gorgeous random guy who happens to be a vampire and is perfect in every way, shape, and form will fall in love with you. I miss it there's a vampire. And he sparkles, too. I miss the days of vampires where girls were actually cool, weren't meant to make teenage girls horny. Okay. Eh. I mean... Honestly, I was never really that turned on by Edward. <laughs> if, we're, well, if we're off the record. Well, I mean, my least ever was like, yes, it's also Twilight. You pretty much nailed everything, just said, this, this franchise needs to disappear. It's... Just... Okay, well, last but definitely not least, we got sci-fis. Sci-fis? I couldn't think of a worse for this one. My best. There's a lot of really good sci-fis. Star Wars... The Star Trek remakes, I love. I think they're great. But alas, my favorite sci-fi are all three Back to the Future movies. Oh. Because it's just, the humor is great. and I, I just, watched that too on my flight to San Diego, and I had a blast watching it. Yeah, Back to the Future is a classic for me. It's also one of those movies that I grew up with. I think I watched my first Back to the Future movie when I was like 9 or 10. And every once in a while, whenever I watch it again, I'm always like, yes, I love this movie! So, it's really, I love okay, it. Okay, now let me just say, I adore the sci-fi genre, and I have some honorable mentions. Avatar, the original Star Wars trilogy, District 9, E.T., um, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Aliens, and we're, and I got 2001, The Matrix, coming soon on Netflix. Um, the D- Dawn of Planet of the Apes, if you want to talk recently. Um, yeah, I said E.T. all right, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, Back to the Future, Inception, just like... What I, else is there? I, I, I just love the sci-fi genre, but my favorite has to be Jurassic Park. Oh, duh. I mean, I'm duh. Uh, call me a dinosaur nerd all I want for saying it's my favorite sci-fi, but I just love this film. I mean, I can't wait to see Jurassic World. And it's just like, the visuals, the visuals. And just like, and, and, every, and good performance from everyone in the film also. It's imaginative. Steven Spielberg, I mean, think about it. He directed the award-winning Schindler's List that came out that same year. Yeah. Okay, and your worst? Because I, I can't My worst? worst one. After Earth. No, no one thought that M. Night Shyamalan could make a movie worse than The Last Airbender, but they were wrong. He made After Earth. Uh, After Earth, how do you take something like Will Smith and make him as interesting as a sack of potatoes? I mean, the movie is godly boring. I mean, I it has... sack of potatoes are so interesting. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, you see, it has an interesting premise. I do give it props for that, but it, it just has M. Night Shyamalan's name written all over it. I mean, it has bad plot twists? Yes. Bad acting? Yes. Bad Actually. script? Yes. Is it boring as heck? Yes. I thought of a bad sci-fi movie. What? I thought of a really bad one, Transformers 3. Oh, all right, you haven't seen Age of Extinction, have you? No. I mean, I'm the only person I know who doesn't hate the Transformers films. I mean, they're enjoyable, but they're like the, the definition of films itself are all stuff on no substance. The first two I could stomach. The first two I was... The, I actually was enjoyed by the first movie because, again, I saw it when I was 12. Once I turned 13, it was like, no, no, that's not a good movie. 12... The second movie, I, same story. I liked it at first, and now that I'm looking back, I'm like, it's not a good movie, but, like, I can stomach it. The third movie, I got, like, maybe halfway through it, and I was like, I'm done. I can't... I can't take it. Can't stomach it! Turning it off and watching Legally Blonde for the 50th time. I can't time. they got rid of Megan Fox for the third film. I mean, Well, I, she got fired because her and Michael right. Bay had a really bad relationship. But it's like, they could at least kept Sam's girlfriend. I hate Sam's girlfriend. Even though oh, it's Rosie like, Huntington Whiteley, the Victoria's <sighs> Secret model. I mean, I, I do. I will say I like the fourth, the fourth one more than the third one. Mm-hmm. Even though it's like, even though it's a big shock fest still. But I, I, I you know, it's it's popcorn fun. What do you expect? We're gonna go. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.